Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to be showing a way to uh, negate or circumvent the lenses law <clears throat> uh, by sorting out this generator coil. Now I, I, I gotta say this, I gotta let this be known. That this this motor right here probably isn't the best thing for this because I'll explain that here in a minute. But it has to do with the size of these uh, ferrite magnets and the how I'm going to be sorting this coil. Now we can we can bypass the lenses law a little bit uh, to to a good degree. By doing it like this, I have a reed switch here to go along with the reed switch down there that's running the motor. I have this reed switch and I got it connected up here to, to the coil uh, on the AC side, which is right here. So I basically have the reed switch right across the AC side of the rectifier. Or the bridge rectifier and the generator coil. So uh, what I do is I take this reed switch and in a certain position, really, this should be done on the peak voltage uh, that this is generating. So you just gotta like find the good spot, the sweet spot. Uh, so I'm, I'll be charging a capacitor. So first I'll show you what the generator outputs as far as power, which the capacitor will indicate for us. So I'm reading the voltage of that capacitor. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to uh, try to... I'm going to uh, get this camera just right here. So I'm going to uh, charge the capacitor up so I can show you what the generator coil is generating in voltage. So let's try that. I should probably just get this going. Now I'm not reading voltage or anything like that. So all right, let's get this going here. <clears throat> okay. So you see I'm, I'm generating already 20 volts and that's at a relatively low speed. <clears throat> uh, let's get this going a little bit here. You see we already got 30 volts here. Now I don't have the collapsing field doing anything except going right back straight to the battery. So that's, that's what the collapsing field's doing. The collapsing field can charge this little capacitor up to about, well, I showed it in a previous video, to about 450 volts in my uh, capacitor rebound effect video. So you see, it's just sitting there making 50 volts. So uh, really, you got to let this thing get up to speed so it can show the true voltage that the generator is making. So just sitting there, got about 57 volts, which is pretty good from just ferrite magnets. It's ferrite ceramic magnets uh, on the rotor are fairly weak. I'm still able to generate 61 volts, 62 volts there. Okay, so uh, I'm going to attempt to do the shorting. Uh, I haven't done this for a while, so I might mess it up. I hope not. So, uh, I don't know if you can see the reed switch in there or not. Uh, try to do this here all at the same time. But, so that's what I'm doing here. Let me, let me set this down. Let's see if we can get it like that. Still get the meter in there. Alright, so I got about 70 volts just generating. Oh. Let's try to do this. And it's got to be in a certain spot 
there it goes. So look, I got 200 volts already. 300 volts. It's going down there. And I don't get much of a rotor drag. So I'll just put that down for right now. And you can see I'm already halfway what the collapsing field is. And I, I didn't slow the rotor down hardly at all. When this is done exact, you can get a tremendous voltage coming out of the thing. Now, uh, you know what? Let me, let me try shorting this capacitor. I'm going to short it so you can see what, what it's generating only. Oh. So, I shorted it out. So it's generating roughly 70 volts. And you see how long it takes. Time is a factor too in this. You see how long it takes to get to that 70 volts. Okay, I'm going to discharge it one more time. So it goes, drops to zero. And then I'm going to stick the read switch on. And watch what happens. Now I'm shorting it out now. Actually, let's, let's try to uh, fill it up first. Okay, I'm shorting it. Hopefully you can hear it. You see, I can get a much higher voltage a lot quicker. Look at that, I'm already at... Well, it's really hard to do by hand, but... Uh, really hard to do. See how I got 100 volts in there? A lot quicker than it took the 70 volts just from the generator. So there is more power in this. It's 200 volts. I'll short it out so you can see. You see I'm already at 100 volts. A lot quicker than what it's generating. That means if I'm charging this capacitor up to a higher voltage in a smaller amount of time, that means I'm getting more power into the uh, out of my generator coil. I'm trying to get it going there. I'm not sure exactly how high I can get this, but uh, and I can do it without much drag on the rotor. So that's one way to get all of your power out of your generator coil more actually than what it normally would generate without too much drag on the rotor so what I was saying earlier was these magnets are too big for this reed switch so what needs to be done is there needs to be a, some type of uh, setup where there's tiny little magnets on the sides here lined up with these magnets so you can create a much shorter uh, on and off pulse from the coil shorting so I, I call this method uh, of bypassing Linz's law uh, short switching so what happens is I put the reed switch the reed switch is going directly across the coil so it can, it can short it out very quickly like that. And if you do it at the right time, uh, at a certain position, the, ah, these magnets are on, not too close to the rotor, then you can, uh, you can get a lot of power out of it without slowing the rotor down. More, in fact, than what it normally generates. So that's a coil shorting switching, short switching as I call it, and it is one way to bypass the lenses law a little bit, not not destroy it or eliminate it because you can't ever do that. There will always be lenses law. 
in any kind of current you're drawing off of a generator coil. But uh, you can circumvent it to where the effects aren't felt as much or you completely get rid of the effects of that feedback mechanism uh, from the opposing fields. You kind of, uh, you're reducing those down and getting all your, your over unity power out of it and being able to keep it. So, do this one more time, I guess. I'm going to sort it out. See, see that's See, that's all what it's generating only. That's what it's generating only. I'll just stick the rotor, the uh, reed switch on there. And so, if you, uh, you can pulse this capacitor out back to the battery with another switch or to another load or whatever you want to do but so that's one way of doing it all right that about sums it up um if you're new to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching and uh i'll see you on the next video